Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking a bit about the newest update from Swords and Magic and Stuff. This update is being called the Farm and Forge update. It's being released today, July 22nd, 2021. There's a massive amount of things being put into the game with this update. Some of those things include crafting updates, to be more specific, cooking, tailoring, carpentry or woodworking, and blacksmithing is among the things you can now craft. There's also some updates to farming. There has been many, and I must reiterate, many new recipes and seeds added to this update. There's so many things you can now craft in regards to cooking, it's unbelievable. Throughout the world, there are many opportunities to obtain seeds from enemies as well as chests and quests. You can also purchase cooking supplies from merchants throughout the world as well. If cooking is your fancy, Swords and Magic has you covered. Along with cooking comes a few new buffs. If I remember correctly, there's now luck, mining, shopping, haste, and strength added to food. These can come really in handy when doing resource gathering and combat. When it comes to tailoring, this, in my opinion, is one of the largest updates to the game. Now, instead of being stuck with your originally selected outfit, you can change. This piece of the update comes as a pretty big surprise to me. Although I know the team was working on new outfits in general, I wasn't aware they were releasing it with this update. I was super, super happy to see the few outfits that I did and can't wait to collect them all as I explore the new farmlands and more. As for carpentry, you can now craft several items with the woodworking skill. This skill, for the most part, to my understanding, is to get ready for housing. I personally haven't dabbled too much into it, but from what I can see, you can craft all kinds of new weaponry with the new skill, as well as wood planks for building later on. The more I work in this skill, I hope to see better weaponry down the road. Only further experience will be able to unlock those possibilities. Lastly, in regards to blacksmithing, again, this is one of those skills that I admit I haven't put too much time into. You can do things such as smelt ores, as well as craft nails, iron plates, and more. Hopefully sometime soon I can work on these skills more thoroughly and give you guys a better sense of what these skills are all about. Of course, the main attraction of this episode, the farmlands, was released as well which is basically a huge piece of land filled with campsites, farms with wheat, corn, and many other animal types. It also contains a portion of the forested areas known as the Windless Woods, which has wolves, boars, orcs, bandits, and more, each enemy dropping its own unique set of loot. Along with these areas, you will get to explore the massive town called Sleepy Haven. There are many new NPCs walking around town and so many new quests and interactions to experience. I went through this town several times in my short time playing the update, and out of all of it, I don't think I even scratched the surface of all the things to be done. I can also imagine there are several secret quests or interactions to be had yet to be discovered. My advice is to take your time as you go through this town and be sure to speak with everyone possible. Also, be sure to pick up some of the potions near the gate to help your travels throughout your farmland adventures. This update also brought mounts. Thank you, Kindred and the team, as well as some new mounts. They also added a feature to manage several mounts at once, presumably because we will be obtaining a few throughout our gameplay. The farmlands also brings us many new enemies to face along our travels. These include, but are not limited to, the ones previously mentioned. There are also mud slimes, scarecrows, spiders, and astral wolves. Hmm. And more. The game also now has over 500 new items to collect and obtain throughout Azura and the farmlands. So many of the items I have yet to discover and encounter. I can't wait to obtain these from either questing, farming, or simply killing new enemies throughout the game. Another huge update to the world is that NPCs now have a schedule and AI to follow, the, to follow and walk around or wander throughout the area. 
For example, at nighttime, you will find certain NPCs in the taverns, while in the daytime, you will find them manning their shop. This is a really big feature that I think a lot of the community was asking for. It really adds a unique atmosphere to the world when you see people walking around instead of staying stationary as they were previously. You can now also destroy pots and crates throughout the world, if you so choose. These are a great way to obtain some resources and coin to further the progress of, on quests or anything else you may be working on. Along with the destructibles being added, there is now also new music and sound effects to be found throughout the new farmlands. The music is certainly a great new addition to the new town and surrounding areas. While doing some of the new quests, you may notice that guards now have their own faction. I can only assume this means there are possibly new guard quests and potentially an evil path to take. I know in the past there's been quests to do with thieves. In other words, there's a good side and an evil side. Maybe eventually they will have to choose what side you want to go towards. Another thing that is available in this update is new upgraded bank slots. Each slot will cost a certain amount of gold. It is my understanding that the slots are unlimited, but each new slot costs an exponential amount to get. This can get very expensive really quickly, so do so wisely. By my calculations, it takes 12,299,996 gold for 1,154 bank slots. The next slot after that costs 22,180 gold. There are probably a ton more that is within this update, but I have yet to experience or see them in the patch notes. If you know of something I missed, feel free to comment on this video and let me know what it is. I'd love to hear it. Thank you for checking out the newest update of Swords and Magic and Stuff called Farm and Forge. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Have a super fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.